I mentioned the other day um, that um, ASAP Bari, <clears throat> the founder of Vlone, or v -Loan, sorry, Vlone or v -Loan, however, however you pronounce it, um, you know, part of the whole ASAP crew, um, he has obviously, um, as you know, last year he was involved in a kind of sexual assault case with a girl when a video leaked of, of him kind of taking off the duvet on some girl who was in bed with another dude. Um, that, that case had been dropped in LA, right? So I think he'd been charged in both places. I'm not sure why. Maybe because he's a US citizen, he was charged in LA, or I don't know what happened there. But because um, I'm trying to remember where it actually took place. Did it actually take place at Coachella? Maybe it took place. I don't know what happened. Anyway, regardless, some, somehow he got charged in London and LA for the same crime. Um, so the case in LA got dropped because the, um, the accuser didn't want to give any evidence. I'm assuming she didn't want to go to LA to give evidence. I don't know how that specifically works. But I'm not sure if the case in London is still pending because when, when ASAP Bari did a layover in London, he got arrested at London Airport. Uh, because it's an outstanding warrant so now because the case has been dropped in la as at barry's now the story's come out that he's actually uh suing his accuser for um defamation i'm assuming right the article's come up here i'm gonna show it i think it's like a an article that i saw online actually might have been reddit let me click the whole thing here <sighs> let's get up on here one second let me see if i can find it yeah, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. So here we go. Um, oh, some pitch for actually. Asap Barry's Sue sexual assault accuser, right? Which is an interesting turn of events. So the article goes as following. Asap Barry's Sue sexual assault accuser for defamation, right? Um, Jabari Shelton, better known as ASAP Mob, uh, co-founder ASAP Barry, has sued the woman who accused him of sexually assaulting her in July 2017, TMZ reports, right? Um, according to the report, Shelton claims that uh, the woman uh, referred to as Jane Doe, which is annoying, isn't it? Like, that's a part of the thing I hate about this sort of thing, right? I don't know if who's, I don't know who's in the right or wrong, right? I don't know if uh, Barry actually did what they say he did. I don't know if the girl's lying. I don't know what's happening, right? But this thing of like i guess because i guess barry was fucked because the video got out right the video got out and that kind of showed what he did but why is why is the girl's name being protected in this whole affair especially if like if somehow they were friends and they've kind of amicably settled things or um she just panicked and kind of went to get a, get involved in the conversation with the whole me too stuff and kind of just said yeah i got sexual assault and then kind of regretted it later whatever i don't mind right but why why is the girl being granted anonymity and he isn't like, I don't understand it. Why is there no media blackout on him, but there's a media blackout on the girl? But anyway, the report refers to as Jane Doe told police officers that on the night of the alleged incident that she he did not that he did not sexually assault her. Sheldon is reportedly suing the woman for defamation and civil extortion for allegedly pursuing him into settling, which basically, you know, might go to was might go to the theory of what a lot of people saying where she was just saying it was sexual assault because they were friends. She knew he would kind of settle out of court and kind of keep her quiet. So, um, again, like bribery in it in its fullest. Um, the video of the alleged incident surfaced in July 2017. Shelton called a misleading video clip shortly after the incident came to light. Nike cut ties with Shelton fashion label Vlone, which is which was really again, which was really sad because that was during when he did the whole like Paris Fashion Week show with little peep and stuff, right? And everyone was kind of raving about the designs, and he had that little black jean jacket and the amazing jeans or whatever. So it didn't. I mean, it came at such a, such a bad time for him. Months later, which I guess bad time for the girl too. I guess if she got assaulted um, again, um, please excuse me. I don't know who's who's telling the truth here. Months later. Area in November 2017, the woman sued Shelton for over one million. In May 2018, Shelton was arrested. Oh gosh, she sued him for one million. Arrested in London, where the alleged incident occurred. Okay, it did occur on two counts sexual assault. In other is that Barry related news. Last week, the Hollywood Reporter reported that the district attorney had dropped the claim to pursue the sexual assault case related to the alleged incident. Blah blah. blah. The camp, uh... So, I don't know what to think about this, right? Um. <laughs> I guess if it's to be if it's to be believed, right? Because again, like all we can, the only thing that we can go on is the video. Barry says it's misleading, right? But if we watch the video, right? If hundred people watch the video, I think ninety nine of us would all agree that what Barry did it was fucked up, right? I don't think that's cool. Um, maybe in the hood, there's different. Um, there's different kind of etiquette when it comes to girls. I understand that, but it, it's still not cool, right? It's still not cool. Um, number one, why is his friend in the room video recording, right? Um, relaxed, which is weird. Number two, there's Bari in the room. So there's three guys in the room and one girl. They're not having a threesome. It's just two other guys just standing around in the room, which is really strange, right? 
Uh, maybe if your if your friend kind of like peeked in and kind of like poured water over you whilst you're in the bed of a girl. Again, it's annoying. Look, all this stuff's annoying. All this stuff's really annoying. And you kind of would want to punch your friend in the face. But if someone did that to you, you would find it funny, maybe, right? It would be a bit funny, be a bit of a prank, be a bit humorous, right? You're one of your friends running in and maybe pulling off the covers on the bed while you're in bed with somebody. I get it. But two guys in the room, one video recording and the other one uh, in Bari kind of like moaning that the girl isn't kind of doing him any sexual favors. I think most of us can agree that that wasn't a good thing he did, right? That was kind of fucked up. Not kind of all the way fucked up, right? But the kind of issue that I have with this case is that the girl was very quick to drop the case, right? In, in general, right? Because nowadays, in the current climate that we're in, she's kind of got the advantage because most people are of the are kind of a, adopt the stance of believe all women right even if the case even if there's no evidence being pursued because you know for the most part everyone's being judged in the court of public opinion no one really has their day in court for the most part everyone kind of settles out of court and settling out of court you have no idea whether or not the stories you have no idea what what the truth is because sometimes your even your own lawyer would advise you to settle out of court because sometimes going to trial might bring up other shit that you that no one knew about do you know what I mean like real secrets so sometimes settling out court can just be something that you do just to kind of avoid any trouble, avoid getting yourself any sort of like any sort of um, unnecessary trouble and bringing your family any sort of unnecessary stress. So don't pay too much mind to that. But there's also an aspect of it that is like maybe let's 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 put the scenario that they're friends, all of them in the room. They're all friends, right? Because I think the one person we have to blame really who's got who should be getting a lot of the blame, who Barry should there be directing most of his ire to, right, is the guy recording it. Because he's the one that released the video. He's the one that put it up on his fucking Instagram stories, right? That kid is the fucking dickhead. He's the one that's an idiot, right? Because without that video on Instagram stories, no one gets in trouble, right? It's an issue of, like, that girl running away and being distraught. She probably cusses him out, tells him he's a dickhead, like, tells him not to do that ever again, and they kind of carry on being friends. Which never, part, which never happens anymore, right? No one ever just, like... What happened to just what happened to being friends with girls? Because sometimes you know it's hard for boys and girls to be um, to be kind of like um, platonic friends. It's very difficult, right? That sexual tension exists for most people, right? Uh, most people can't have se platonic sex, um, female friends. I know I can't sometimes, right? Depending on who the person is, I know I, I struggle to do that as well. So if you struggle to have sexual, if you struggle to have platonic female friends, you have to be aware that sometimes they might be, especially if the guy that you're friends with is a bit of a loose cannon or whatever, maybe. There might be an occasion where sometimes someone might do something that might overstep the mark, right? But you have to be, because that's what a friendship is, right? Sometimes you might argue with your friends, right? You might have a really big argument with your friends and you might come to blows or you might say things to your friends that no one else, has, no one else, um, so your friend might say something to you that no one else has ever said to, to you in your whole life, right? Really cut deep, whatever. But your friends, you're going to get over it. Especially if you're friends, you will kind of get over it eventually. So why isn't there that same level of, um, um, give or leeway accepted when it comes to people uh with these kind of uh sexual assault missteps or whatever it may be called quote unquote especially when it's someone that doesn't have a history of touching up people right if it's someone that's just like a one-off thing like i don't know they got the wrong signal and they kind of lower their hand down that person's back what happened to just like giving that guy a slap cussing him out telling him that's not cool uh not talking to him for a week uh, two weeks a month and then later on being friends why does it suddenly have to go from like touching my back maybe saying something in the in in it on the um at the actual moment but also going to the police also going to the press like trying to ruin the person's life on social media by post by doing one of those like third person posts like i'm not gonna name my accuser but i'm just gonna say what you did wasn't cool and then everyone kind of finds out who it is and kind of pillars you and you lose everything i don't understand why we haven't got to a point where someone could just do something that's wrong right that's wrong that we can all agree is wrong like barry away deal was wrong but as friends we can kind of just sit down and say hey i know i fucked up the other day i'm sorry no, we can all kind of like get on with it. And then we can decide there and then if we want to be friends or not. But it doesn't happen anymore. It just goes all the way straight to the end. Like everyone just kind of loses shit. Like luckily, Barry works for himself and has his own brand. And if anything, the controversy weirdly kind of helped his part of infamy, or whatever. But he kind of lost his quote unquote Nike deal, which he hasn't really lost, which I've heard through the grapevine. He hasn't really lost. Um, they kind of like cut, he's cut ties with him like in public. So they, wanna, they didn't want to be exposed. Um, sort of like what happened to Rick Ross with the whole Reebok deal. Um, and he's still got kind of like he's still getting seeded he's still getting shoes um he's still getting g given shoes for shoots and stuff like it's not really uh cutting off of all ties it's kind of like you know they kind of want to uh let the dust settle and plus you know having like five sexual accusers f f five sexual assault was like just left nike recently because of the kind of culture they're breeding there uh phil knight had to write some massive internal memo about them changing the culture like you know they're not the first they can't really throw stones but 
he lost quite a lot of it, right? He lost probably a lot of face in the industry. People thinking that he is a sexual abuser. Like, you know, you kind of have to, op he kind of operates as a little, as kind of like a lone soldier for the most part. All those kind of social media friends that he had, like, you know, you know the kind of people that on Instagram that he kind of speaks to. They don't really, if you notice, like, they don't really post about him too much, right? Ian Connor has been posted about recently, but you don't really see people posting that much about um, um, Barry himself. They might post... Uh, wearing his clothes but they don't really post about him anymore which is you know a bit annoying i'd assume because everyone's your mate then you get accused of things everyone kind of like leaves you in the dust so again if this story is true then i can kind of understand um bari going for this girl right if like they were friends he kind of apologized she she said oh, it's okay the story got into the press because everyone saw the video um it, it kind of gained new legs the girl kind of actually thought you know what actually i changed my mind i'm not cool with it uh, took legal action uh went to the police um settled out of court he gave us some money to kind of like uh, keep it quiet or for to not for it to not to continue or to not go to trial and then it suddenly transpires that she doesn't want to give evidence she doesn't want to go to the full way through he's like you know what fuck this man i'm gonna sue you, Do you know what i mean I need, to, I need i need to kind of like get better space back on my name but unfortunately these kind of defamation cases they're not going to do anything to change people's minds some people's minds are made up some people are just gonna be like nah he did it do you know I mean, I remember when the story broke, people were saying that he raped the girl. Like, that's rape. It's not rape. You watch the videos, that isn't rape. He didn't penetrate her in any sort of way. He did, what he did was shitty. What he did was super creepy and really out of order. And I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be friends with anyone in my, anyone in my circle of friends if someone did that, right? I don't think I'd have friends that would come into my room whilst I was fucking some girl and kind of take the cover off and, fi and filming us on video and put up Instagram stories. Like, that's not something I, I would want to do. Not so, I'm not part of that kind of friendship group, but if that is what they do and they, that's how they get down their friendship, group like there should be some sort of like understanding between each other like okay cool you fucked up right let's have a talk about it let's kind of settle this as friends and move on but you know suing somebody taking this to the police suing someone then not going through with the with, with the with the charges you know like maybe you should be um you should be taken to court and you know that this defamation case it is it is going to be exposed it is it will expose bari too i'm sure some i'm sure if uh, the girl does seek legal counsel they're going to be you know they're going to attack him too and kind of like dig into his past and get into the things that he's done but it seems like he doesn't care i mean he needs to get he's kind of needs to get his name back in that respect so interesting story i guess again lessons to be learned from this from everyone watching everyone involved in the scene anyone with a bit of clout who has kind of who kind of has um a following behind them who, who is maybe getting you know unsolicited um offers from um, the opposite sex or whoever you're interested in be careful out there man be careful um and you know just be a gentleman too that i feel like that's something that's being overlooked in the industry just be a gentleman be a gentleman man like don't treat girls like shit like treat them with respect even if you are just gonna be fucking for one night even if it is just gonna be them just coming around and, and i don't know i don't know jimmy sucking your dick or whatever it may be treat them with respect man I treat them with respect. Uh, don't sell them any fake dreams. If you, want to, if you don't want that person to be your girlfriend, let them know. Let them know what it is. And then go from there. I think most of this stuff is just coming from the lack of respect these guys have for women in general. You know what I mean? That's what breeze is kind of weird contempt where you can come into a room and rip a duvet off someone that's, you know, just, just, got, just finished having sex. It's, it's not really cool. So I think that's something a lot of people should kind of take heed on and do for the future so again i don't know what's gonna happen it's never part of the case it's gonna keep on rumbling on but again i'm gonna mind my own business because again it's nothing to do with me but i think lesson to be learned from this is just treat respect to treat women with respect man even the ones that are interested in even the hoey ones even the ones that don't mind coming to your hotel room and fucking you after a music concert because everyone's free to do what they want just treat them with respect i think that's that's the main 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 takeaway of this whole shebang